Oh, ladies and gentlemen, let's work on the man that give hope, encouragement to people. Call us, Ikora. If people don't fight you, if people are not against you, if people are not pursuing you, if people are not gossiping you, saying evil lying against you, if people are not trying to reduce you, you are nobody. For someone to live his precious life, precious problem, and begin to carry your problem, carry someone's problem, begin to, to say gossip, or begin to, 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 be, to be, oh my God, it means you have a special person. Look at Joseph in the Bible. His brothers gang up against him. People gang up, they gang up against Joseph. They were doing everything possible, but they did succeed. Let me tell you this. The problem you are having today is because you are a great person. You have a bright life. You have a better life to live. Don't complain. Don't just relax. Just give thanks to God. That challenge you are undergoing today, that problem you are facing today, is just like a way, it is a preparation of your greatness. If people are not talking about you, you are nobody. They must say something about you that makes you a person, that makes you a useful person. Have you seen where people begin to talk about mad person, begin to fight mad person? Person that have no life? No! They always fight those that have future, those that have life to live. You have a bright, you have a bright life to live. It's the reason why people are fighting you. It's the reason why people are lying against you. It's the reason why people are gossiping you, carry your matters to different places. You are a special person. You are they, are, they, they are even advertising you. Why can't you give thanks to God for the greatness that is ahead coming to you? This time, this life is, is just too short for someone to live, to cut off his hours or her hours, his precious time on this earth and, 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 and decided to spend it on you. You are a special person. Don't be deceived. Don't worry. All you need to do is just to pray to God. See God as your only Savior. Don't see men as your savior. Don't even see pastor as your savior. Don't be deceived. Pastor can save you. You can save yourself. Don't be deceived. These pastors have their own problems. They have their own problems to face. They have their own problems they are facing. Some of them, you are even better, you are even holier than them. You are even living a better life than these people that you call some of them. You, you just see them as God. They are not God. They are human like you. It's only God that can save you. Put your trust in Him. Put your hope in Him. He will never fail you. He's a great God. He's a mighty God. He has never failed and He will never fail you. I know the God I'm talking about. He's a King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Don't give up in your life. You have tired. You have struggled. Yes, I know. But don't give up. There is hope. There are, there are better. There is hope ahead coming. They are trying to distract you not to achieve it. They are trying to cut off your life so that you will not achieve it. That is why they are trying everything possible. Don't give up. Put your trust in him. Keep on. They can't do nothing. They are just trying. They are just trying their best. But they will never do. They will never succeed. I pray that God will never forsake you. Don't let people judging you or gossiping you, condemning you, be a problem to you. The only is your problem. But for you, you are not a problem. I pray that God will help you and overcome and remain victory. God bless you.